I do not want Earth to end up like the Yukikaze. Understood. One more today. Oh yeah, your mobility is is the worst. It's not gonna be. It's still not great, but it's the difference between heavy damage and takes it in the face. Well, the difference between. I feel the, the it gives a fighting chance to dodge. Actually, on second thought, what I'm gonna do is upgrade your armor so you can tank. Upgrade your your mobility is never gonna be great, but at least I can try to get you to tank tank better. your power a bit so it's a little more comparable to uh, the great mazinger actually no your armor needs to be upgraded too you you're actually you you are the worst no upgrade your power a bit first get you a little more closer to be comparable to the great mazinger power wise and then you actually need the armor upgrade even more A barrier field. Because you're already really wimpy. Like, you, you have a lot of hit points. But you dodge like a rock. Not a rock rolling downhill. You dodge like a stationary rock. And your armor... Let's put this by comparison here. The armor on the Black Getter is 1650. Which is higher than the, reg than the real robots. It's still not great. So, Black Getter... You're getting... a barrier field. That's what we got. Uh, Exe laser. I'm going to give you a repair kit and the barrier field, so you can tank better. You have no map weapons. And none of your weapons are, are melee only. So you can do something with the high precision sensors. And the V crystal to improve your adaptability. One more mission. Oh, for crying out loud. Mm. Oh. What is it, Doctor? No physical trauma? No brain injuries? It seems your amnesia is psychological, Surugi. If I look at you and your... At you like, look at your and Nagari's genetic structure. As far as I can tell, you're both Earthlings, through and through. Didn't do a voice for you earlier, but got one now. 
Oh, you don't say? No need for sarcasm. I'm just telling you my diagnosis, being a doctor at all. Booze? But I have to say, if you two... If I have to say, you two have bodies I'd be jealous of if I were any younger. Well, pilots need to be in top physical condition. Hmm, not that I know ever know anything about that. Plus, hitting the booze this much isn't great if you're trying to lose weight. I well, I suppose the, po the robots you two pilot are what I could be called super robots. You mean that super robots don't exist in this world? Aside from the one that we've already got in this ship, yes. Well, I guess Gundams are about the same thing. You have a super robot from the DLC on your ship right now. This is clearly dialogue that has not been adjusted or tweaked to account for DLC. Oh. What's wrong, Suriki? Did you remember? What's wrong, Suriki? Did you remember something? No, it's, it's nothing. Come now, Makoto. Don't put too much pressure on him. I just thought that something might have triggered his memories. Suriki, amnesia is a tricksome thing. What a word. Someday, something might click into place and all your memories will come rushing back. But until then, don't try and force it. I understand. Thank you very much, Dr. Sada. Examination op over, Dr. Sato? It is. They're both fit as a fiddle. Well then, I've got Mr. Gawai, Mr. Sarugi, please come with me. No need to call me Mr. Whatever. We're working together in the Yamato now, so you don't have to worry about from out about the formalities. Same here. Even in this another world, there's no way I'll just sit idly by if Earth is in danger. Thanks. We're grateful for your help. And we're grateful for the food and clothing and everything else that you've given us. Well then, Gare, Suriki, follow me. Sure thing, Kodai. Please excuse us, Dr. Sato. But luck, meeting those two. Now we have even more colleagues comrades we can rely on. Suriki ought to be careful. Suriki ought to be careful, though. What? Why? If he already hurt real bad with what he's been through, that could very well be the end of him. What is this? It's a shame that Gamelin android we recovered had to be has to be destroyed. It's because it was reassembled for analysis. The chances of it causing trouble on the ship if we keep it active here for long are too high. Quite a shock when System 99 hacked into the mainframe, wasn't it? Science has its limits, but people do. Science has no limits, but people do. This is a good lesson what happens when we venture too far into the unknown. And this that is why we must take care the, the most care in our handling this android soldier. Are we towing this ship behind us? So we'll just shut it down and dump it in space? We can't take any risk of disposal in case of the self-destruct sequence we might trigger. By analyzing it, we were able to get a feel for the true extent of Gamelin technology. But we can't draw any conclusions about its nature. Is it a self-propagating mechanical life form, or is it simply a weapon made to look humanoid? We have ascertained that Gamelin uses mathematics like we do and understand physics like we do. Their culture is one we communicate with. When we're encountering a foreign civilization in space, those things are very important. Especially when it comes to war. As Juzo Okito says, it lets us play chess by the same rules. When it comes to war between humans, perhaps it is the same for war between any sentient beings. What do you mean? It's something I've been thinking about after seeing how Analyzer has been these past few days. This is farewell, Alter. Even though, even now, I am unsure if you are pleased by the name I gave you. You are my enemy. You are a machine. It is str I realize how strange it is for me to speak to you like this. It seems I'm distressed by our eminent separation. Oh. Well, goodbye, Alter. Don't forget to write. Maybe we could get a beer sometime. That was really hard on you, wasn't it, Analyzer? I'm sorry I asked you to do something like that. Do not be... It was the most... I was the most qualified to handle such an extraordinary situation. Excuse me, I will return to the bridge. I'm going to skip the hmms going forward. 
He acted like a human being, parting with a f human parting with a friend. You know, I haven't he I've heard there weren't any two survivors on the Yukikaze. Yeah. You were really worried, weren't you, sir? I think that's really admirable. Nope, not saying it. I'm skipping that line going forward. Sir? There's something else, isn't there? As the psychological counselor, I must say this. There is the possibility that Tetsuya Teruki is lying. Who is it? Are you sad, Analyzer? I do not know. I am a machine. I should not feel sadness. But in my core, it is is a discomfort I cannot explain. Do you mean in your do you mean in your heart? I do not know. Do that one image uh, from um, Avengers of uh, Vision crying. As of today, these two are part of the aircraft squad. Name's Ryoma Nagare. I'm Tetsuya Saruki. It's nice to meet you. I wish Akira could be made part of the squad, too. As it is, we now have two more mysterious transfer students, or I mean squadron mates. I wouldn't say that to the actor's face if I were you. He's still overlooking her accent since it was an emergency, but he's still really angry. Question, I heard you two offer him another Earth. Could you perhaps explain a little more about that? Up until now, the existence of parallel universes has only ever been theoretical, but now we finally have the concrete proof. Don't stop gabbing away. Don't start gabbing your way yourself after asking them to explain. Seems like they really piqued Belt's curiosity, huh? The XO have come to the conclusion that after listening to these two tell their stories, and based on the mechs they were piloting, it's not really concrete proof, but it's more but more like the only plausible explanation. Now well, you two have rotten luck coming to a universe where the Earth has been destroyed. You heard about the state of things in this universe. The threat is the same on my Earth. What? Those monsters we fought on Saturn's moon are a dead ringer for the invaders that attacked my Earth. Those things attacked Earth? I've been told there are space bacteria, parasites that, vibe, that thrive in ghetto radiation. What is that? What kind of cosmic ray. My ghetto robot uses it for energy. If it's operational, that means ghetto radiation exists here too. So you fought these invaders with that robot. I wasn't the only one. All of humanity came together to fight the invaders. And together, we were able to win a decisive victory against them on the moon. We destroyed them. I have no of course, I have no idea what happened after that. What do you mean? After the battle, I was in prison for three years. In prison, so you're a criminal? Oh, Scottish. So prison, so you're a criminal? No, I was arrested on false charges. I'm innocent. But then again, they all say that. No one believed me. I was, to I was a pilot to keep locked up for long. After I was released, we ended up battling a new wave of invaders. We fired a Deuteron missile in hopes of getting rid of the invaders once and for all. I was caught up in the explosion, and when I came to, I was on Encellus. Well, the explosion from that Deuteron missile tore open the barriers between dimensions. I mean, it worked for Star Trek The Next Generation, so sure. Hell if I know. In any case, I put, together, put the Black Gator back together from what bits of scrap I could find. I figured there was a moon... Uh, uh, moon figured that was a moon of Saturn over there, and started looking for a way back home to Earth based on that. And that's when you ran into us. What about you? Oh, that's right. I hear you're suffering from amnesia. That was a really dick move there, Shinohara. Hey, dude who doesn't remember is that himself. A anything about where he came from? Tell me about where you came from. So what? I feel the same way Ryoma does. I'm not going to sit back and watch if the Earth is is in danger. At least, until we, at least until we can find a way back to our own world, we'll do whatever we can to save this Earth. Even though you weren't born here, you feel the same towards this Earth as your own. Alright, I've heard enough. Nagari, Surugi, from now on, you're one of us. Looking forward to it. There's one more person joining the aircraft squad. Ah, speak of the devil. Excuse me. Aha! She's, she gets to be a pilot now. Oh! As of today, there's no need for introduction. There's no need for introduction as today she's been transferred from accounting to aircraft squad of tactical department. My name is Yamamoto. I look, I'm looking forward to my new assignment. Akira, what are you doing here? Um... New personnel joined accounting. That, plus her action of the day, have led me to reassign her. 
Of course, the commander approves as well. Jeez. Captain Kato? I suppose it's fine. Your actions do speak to how just how dedicated you are. I was assuming reporting you just for your officer or myself, but it seems I've been saved the trouble. Thank you very much. This is great, Akira. Thank you, Shitose. I'm excited to work with you in the aircraft squad. All right, Kato, come with me. Is there a tactical meeting? Yeah, Yamato is the head of the enemy place, enemy base on Pluto. Oh, this is a big, a big we have a big long cutscene here. I forgot about that. I intended to avoid a necessary conflict in order to arrive at Iskandar as fast as possible. But we cannot allow the continued existence of the Pluto base, whose planet bombs have entered the Earth in complete and the utter wasteland. We will destroy that base with everything we have. Understood. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Ever since the Gamblers captured Pluto, they have altered its environment. It is now a dwarf planet with oceans. Since it's a major enemy base, we can expect heavy resistance. And now have the added support of the Black Getter and Great Basinger. I'd say we're well matched. There's going to be another joint effort between the Yamato and those mobile units. Exactly. When on the war, Earth's own mobile suit force was destroyed. Ever since, we've had to fight the same way as Gamblers by using artillery fleets. Since Earth's firepower was no match for Gamblers, it was assumed our defeat was inevitable. But now, if now we have super robots can operate with us. Their firepower, durability, and mobility might give us enough advantage to do some real damage. A brand new strategy. The Gamblers will never see it coming. The mobile units they thought destroyed are back with a vengeance. Kato, Falcon needs to protect the Yamato and take the lead with close quarters maneuvers. Understood. Leave the Yamato's defense to me. Destroying Pluto base is a new opportunity to test out these new tactics. There's another one. A long range shot from the wave motion gun could easily destroy the enemy base. Will not use the wave motion gun. Well, why not? It's going to waste! Plus, I want to shoot the really big gun! We won't only use to destroy the enemy blaze, but through itself if use the wave motion gun. We cannot do that. Why? What's a planet or two if we can defeat Gamelus? Nanbu, think about the words that just came out of your mouth. N Nanbu! No. What? If the tactical officer says no, he means no. Listen, this will prevent the aircraft squad from suffering any losses. Not that the amateur needs that ridiculous... Oh, God! You have the sensitivity... Oh! Don't he punch him? What did you just say? Enough! Yes, sir. Not move, you're a dick. We'll commence the attack on Pluto Base without the wave motion gun. It is not up for discussion. That is all. I'll confirm that each section is in position. Commander, what is it? You're a hero of the Second Battle of Mars, and I've always admired you as a sailor. When the Gamelons first attacked us, I lost my father in these seas. If I agree with your plan to attack Pluto, as head navigator, I will make up for this delay. I see. The engineers of seas of Pluto are full of bitter memories for us all. That is why Yamato must succeed. All right. In this universe, Pluto was never stricken from the list of planets. I see. So that ugly Terran ship, Terran ship is called the Yamato. What an ugly ship. Nothing remotely graceful about it. The Yamato is probably on its way here to, Pl to, to Plato. We'll lure it in and destroy it. Are you certain they'll come here? Planet bombs launched from here have just decimated their home. I see. And we will crush them. This is the perfect chance for your inferior, pale-skinned race to demonstrate its loyalty to Gamelas. Each Zalt Zone on the space is every bit as loyal to the Empire as any full-blooded Gamelan. <laughs> exactly what I want to hear or see in a great Gamelan soldier. I am expecting magnificent revolt. Results. Gale Desla. Gale Desla! Glory to the Supreme Leader! I miss the days when I fought for General Domo. Indeed. In any case, we will take care of the Yamato in the usual fashion. The reflection satellite cannon will show those Turons the extent of our might. Our might has Zulz. They will learn their rightful place. Can't believe we're near Pluto already. You see, as I my brother died. 
Kodai, now you'll be able to avenge your brother. It's not the only thing I'm fighting for. Soon the capture of the Pluto base, M2 operation will commence. All crew begin final checks. Yes, sir. Don't psych yourself out too much, Tosei. Easier said than done. This is the battle that will finally drive the Gamelins out of the solar system. Do you have a personal grudge against the Gamelins too, Chitose? Huh? There are times I feel something of myself radiating, it, radiating from you, Chitose. You can tell me about it if you want. It's a long story. And you appear not to have the time. B what is this? The enemy's attacking. We haven't even been able to give, give the signal a sortie, let alone warnings to switch the defensive. They attacked before we even knew they were there. Situation report. Probably an enemy lo probably an enemy long range attack. Where the heck did they fire from? I don't see any ships, and judging from the angle, it wasn't from Pluto. Attacks are coming from the port side, ten o'clock. Take a best of action, hard to port. Move into their blind spot. Base of action, hard to port. First shot is hit, impact confirmed. The Yamato is engaging in evasive maneuvers. Splendid, Commander Schultz. Inverting the reflexive satellite system, satellite cannon, the planet bomb launch system was a huge success. Shots fired at the space change angle, based on reflective satellites, and find their target that way. There are no blind spots around Pluto. Even if you don't know where the enemy is, you can still sink their ship. It is an impenetrable defense system. You must always consider things from different angles. The ability to adapt is critical on the battlefield. General Domo taught us that. However, it's unfortunate the first strike didn't finish that. A hunt is something to be his savior, Charlotte. Charles Tora, prepare the reflection satellite cannon for the next volume. Reflection satellite number 7, number 13, number 28, deploying reflectors. <laughs> you can run, Yamato, but you can't hide. Reflection satellite cannon, fire! Yeah! Same attack as before. Wasn't this supposed to be a blind spot? Radar, where did it come from? I can't determine a specific launch point. Maintain position. I can't. Propulsion is dropping. It's impossible to steer. Shima, land the Yamato at the seas of Pluto. Understood. Kodai. Sir? I have other orders for you. I have a cunning plan. Oh, he's got a classically inspired painting of himself on the ceiling. Message from Schultz to the Supreme Leader. He wishes to make a support. Schultz? He granted him command of the pace on Pluto and the Sol system in the hinterlands of the galaxy. Oh yes, I did leave a second class Gamelus Brigade in charge of the planet Terran's conquest in time. Very well, touch him for you. Sir. I am... I am Volk Schultz, commander of the army subjugating Terra on your excellency. Volk, you are going above your direct experience to be a go on, constant test. This normal sort of, sort of behavior is not usually tolerated. Now, now, it's fun. Yes? Yes, sir. No, Paul Schultz? Y yes, sir. This morning, at 10.06 Gamelon Center time, the Pluto Terran... The Pluto... A Plato frontline base engaged in fierce battle and destroyed the Terran FDL ship Yamato. What happened? Ah, well, I wanted to report your victory to you directly. Professor Arden to me merely to report something so obvious. I ultimately contributed in some small way to the celebration of the Great Gamelon Great Empire's founding. Remember your work. Thank you. That's enough. Be off, Schultz. Valet Desla! Glory to the Supreme Leader! Hi, huh, Stella. Is it true that a Terran ship is capable of faster than light speeds? I don't think so. First I've heard of it. And, and you, Vice Commander Hiss? Yes, I, I've, I've never heard of it either. Of course not. Well, a Terran ship has been sunk. A trivial matter for Gamelus. This has kind of got to be the pompous ass to him. Because, I mean, you put a classical style painting of yourself in your office. You're kind of got to be a pompous ass. Trip complete. For the moment, I don't think we need to worry about sinking. 
Good work. Hey, Yama, how long do we hit up to something like this at the bottom of the sea? Hmm. We still haven't made it out of the solar system. Are we really going to make it to Iskandar? It will never now another ship of mine to sink. Huh? Ever since my ship left Earth, my life's been, uh, been in Akita's old hands. We'll do the best we can, and that's all. Are you serious? Yes, a satellite beam weapon has been attacked the Yamato. The Ars went up to pre around. Pluto got me thinking, so I had the information officer scan it. It's not debris. They are, these are all enemy satellites. I believe they've been linking up this group of satellites to launch beam attacks. In other words, all of Pluto is within their targeting range. Well, they'll just hit us again if we surface. We use explosives camouflage so they think we sank. It's just a matter of time before they find us. For now, we just have to down the others and wait. And when the time is right, the Yamato will strike back. Launch mobile units at the same time as we sink, and then surround them in base and commence a surprise attack. I hope it's as easy as it sounds. What happens if the mobile units are destroyed by enemy fire? Didn't you hear the commander? We have to trust the others. I guess. Commander, there's a communication from tactical officer Kodai. Mobile units have discovered the enemy base. All right. Easy if they could determine the location of their weapon as well. That's not the mission. We move now. But then the enemy will fire on us again. Mobile units are prepared to fight to the death. We must be as well. Now move! Now move, 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 move! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 